game. We're about to play some uh, Coral Island. I have not looked into this game. I have had it suggested to me a ton. I saw the Kickstarter forever ago. Um, and uh, I know Chrissy kickstarted this. Um, Chrissy kickstarts a lot of these um, farming games. But for those of y'all who don't know, it is a, you know, Stardew-like farming type game from what I understand. Um, and it seems to have a little bit of an ecological focus. As you can see in the water, there's like trash that I think you pick up and things. Um, and pretty much what I've been told is that everyone in this game is incredibly attractive. So looking at the screen right here, I think we can say that that's um, for sure. So let me check the settings and stuff real quick. Um, do, 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 do. Display mode, graphics are looking good, VSync is on, audio is all across the board. All right, we're looking good. Um, play. I mostly wanted to make sure that I had VSync on. New game, here we go. Oh, okay, cute. What kind of body types we got? All right, I'll go, I'll go androgynous, that's how I feel. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's probably about right. Oh, you can pick like any tone. That's neat. That's neat that you can do that. Um, eyebrows. You can pick any color. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, we're going trunks, y'all. Full trunks. Now I know. Ah, whatever. I should have dark eyebrows. <laughs> I do have dark eyebrows. Um, okay. Eyes. Oh yeah, let's let's see the different types though. I feel like I have some pretty thick eyebrows generally. I actually, it's so funny. Um, I have dark eyebrows, and um, I dyed my hair black back in college once because I was in a band. We all dyed our hair black. It was a whole thing. Um, but my my brother accused me of dyeing my eyebrows as well, and I was like, nope. That's just my eyebrows, man. You apparently haven't been looking at me my whole dang life. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get up to... Oh, this is eyes. This is eyes. I got some kind of green-gray going on. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I got some gray eyes. Um. Okay, hair. Oh, I mean... Is this all we got? Okay. Which one's more like me? That one or the... F I think it's this one. The lower one. Breaking news, Price's brother has never actually looked at him. Beep, 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 beep. Fair. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's the business. Yeah. Yeah. That's the hair color, y'all. It's the one I go for. Okay, outfits. Okay, okay. We might have to go with the black craft. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're going Blackcraft. <laughs> Name? Prutzel. Honorific. Uh, Monsieur. Farm name. Um, how about... Chillax Fields. How's that? How's that? You can customize. Yeah, I could be like... I could be Sir, you know? The scroll on the face stuff is not the best. Nose, lip jaw. Oh, yeah. I barely tell the difference. Yeah, it looks more like mine, I think. Color customization coming soon. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I'm not so gaunt right now. When I'm down like another 5, 10 pounds, de like that's what happens. I get that like meh thing going on. It happens. Everybody fluctuates. Everybody fluctuates. So I have this range. When I'm on the low end, hmm. Um, that'll do. That'll do. Okay. Um, complete. Mr. Prutzel, you should want to create this character. You can change clothes and hairstyles later. Yes. 
Your favorite and only sister just wants your eyelashes. Apparently, I don't appreciate mine. Yeah, I've got some, I've got some lashes, too, actually. I have been told by many individuals that they are jealous of my, my eyebrows and eyelashes and eyes. This whole region is the moneymaker for me. Okay, I'll turn this up for myself. <clears throat> you leave Pokio to start a new life on Coral Island. Okay. All right. Ooh, cute. Sorry, resist. I don't know. Good genes. I got my mom's side. Whoa, that monitor over there disappeared. Are y'all good? Are we good? Streaming and recording is good. I took after my mom rather than my dad, so I have some some fair features. Um, Hello, Prutzel. Welcome back to Coral Island, your new home. Oh, it's right click to next. It's been a long time, Prutzel. Good to see you again. I can't remember the last time we had a visitor. <laughs> now I trust you had a wonderful journey with Mr. Wataru. Um, yeah, I was safe and comfortable. Great! I expected nothing less from Mr. W Mr. Wataru. He's the best sailor you could ask for. You must be quite tired from the journey. Let's head over to your new place. <laughs> Alright. People are talking about being jealous of their siblings and stuff like that. I think everyone always is. There's always grass, there's always greener stuff on the other side. I'm jealous of my brother's beard, for example. I can't grow that beard. He can grow an awesome one. Um, Alright, the floors are done. Oh my, what a coincidence. We've just finished patching things up here. Is this the new farmer? That's right. Prutzel, this is Dinda and Joko. They're the local carpenters. Ah, okay, the Robins of this universe. Nice to meet you, Prutzel. Hello, Prutzel. It's always exciting to welcome someone new to our little island. Nice. Do do do. Indeed, Prutzel, this will be your new house. It's a bit run down, but. Ahem. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mayor Connor. Did you just say we did a poor job here? <clears throat> Let's see a punch. Let's see a, like a. just a brown. Uh, uh, no, I mean. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just joking. Unfortunately, we can only patch up the roof so it doesn't leak and replace some of the rotten wood. If you want more renovations, you can visit our shop and house in Hillside, northeast of here. Northeast, it's just like Robin. We won't charge you for it, but you'll need to gather the materials yourself. Once we restore the foundation, you can decorate the house the way you like. We've placed the complete instructions in your mailbox. Oh, okay. Well then, it's about time we head home. See you both around. Take care, Prutzel, and good luck. You know what the art style kind of reminds me of? Not fully, not fully, but there's like a little bit of like, um, like a Lilo and Stitch kind of thing going on. Does that make sense? Like the, just a little bit of exaggeration in the features has given me that. As you can see, people are very excited that you're here. Doubly so for Sam. You should pay him a visit once you're more settled in. He's the owner of the general store in town. There are 25 plus romanceable characters, so take it easy on your voice. <laughs> Thank you, Hero the Bard. Good to know. And that is the field where I'm guessing you'll spend most of your time. Dinda reminds you of Lilo's sister. Yeah, she looks the most like it, for sure. Very similar vibe. Human but round realism. I, th I like that. It's a good way of putting it. Whoa! Like, I, I want, like, that sound effect, like, yeah. It's a bit messy now, uh, <laughs> it's a bit messy now, but I'm sure it'll take care of it in no time. <laughs> it's like that kind of thing. And, <laughs> Once you harvest your crops, you can put them or anything else you have to sell here at the shipping bin. I'll ship the content overnight to the appropriate stores in town, and you'll receive the funds the following day. Alright, alright. I'll be going now, so you can get some rest. 
Oh, uh, since you just got here, you probably haven't bought anything you need for farming yet. Here's a little something from the town to get you started. Archer's down here trying to get me to do something. <laughs> got an axe, scythe, and random seeds. Oh, and a can. If you need anything else, I'm at your disposal. Come to me with problems, questions, some mean sake. <laughs> Welcome home, Bruzel. All right. Awesome. Yeah, I heard basically Enno was like, everyone's hot in this game. That's basically what it was. Okay, plant some seeds, water some seeds. We're going to have to rebuild our stuff here. Kind of reminds me of um, my time at Porsche and my time at Sandrock. By the way, I really should play more of those games. <laughs> um, read mail. Brutzel, in order to repair your house, you'll need to gather some materials. Please collect 50 wood and 20 stone. That should about do it. After you collect everything, head over to the carpenter store, create an order at the counter so we can begin work. This job will be done the same day. Cool. All right, how do I gather? Um, axe. Hey yeah. All right, and we've got energy? We do. Okay, good to know. So I'm going to chop this zone right in front of us here. Is this going to chop down? Okay, cool. Takes a fair amount of energy there. So yeah, just like in... How do I pick you up? Oh, I gotta chop these up. Okay. Um, just like in Stardew, we're not gonna be able to fully do this. C lets you quick open menus. It's not E. Oh, cool. Thank you for that. Oh, we got stuff that we can build. Okay. Makeshift chests would be a good thing to build. I love that it's built out of, like, recyclables. It's like a mixture between Raft and um, Stardew. Starting out, let's do our seeds and our water seeds, and then home sweet home. Rebuild our thing. Okay, those are our two quests. Oh, smash. Smash. Okay. Four. I dig, I dig the movement and stuff. Is it coming out on Switch? Not sure. Not sure. At all. Oh, chop that. Come on, there we go. Get all that, get all that. All right. Then, uh, scythe. Nice. Does side thing also take energy? It does not. Oh, it, it does. It does. It just calculated later. Okay. All right. So for now, oh, that's a baby tree. So for now, I do see that there's trash over there. So we will do that. What's this? Food? Candy, maybe? Um, ho. Oh. oh, okay. Get stuff from, from Hoenn. Again, I'm going to keep comparing it to Stardew. I know it's not fair to every farming game to compare it to Stardew or to Harvest Moon, but they're the originals, and so it's easy to kind of to do so, you know? So, once we get these planted, um, I think what I want to do is get enough resources to get our upgrade going, because it seems like it's going to be pretty close, or at least as much as we can, because I don't know how much money it's going to cost. I assume it will cost money, not just resources. I love these games that are dealing with ecology as well as, like, farming and stuff like that. Um, I think it's a really good idea and to, like, get people more into it. There's a slider to play your game in slower or faster. I saw that! So does that just mean more time in the day or less time in the day? Because I'm curious about that. Or is it things grow faster or slower? I've seen the thing. I've seen the time speed. I'm just curious, is it time or is it this? Because I don't know, right now, I'm going to play it at default. But if I feel like I'm not, um, what you call it? If I feel like I'm, I'm, things are going too slowly, then I, or, or too quickly, I'll change it. Um, not crafting, quest, quest, quest. Cool. Um, starting out. Oh, okay. They, they added more steps to it. Home sweet home, more wood, more stone, and then I would also like to try and build a chest. I think that that's all good ideas. So, I'll need to look at how much, because I'm already halfway down my energy as well, so. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe we save that for tomorrow, because I would like to go and explore, and, you know, you never know, there might be stuff I want to pick up, or whatever. So... How are we doing on that stuff for the quest? Stone. I just need stone. We need 20 stone. Um, and I see that there's trash there. We'll get that later. But yeah, I love these. I suppose it affects all things based around an in-game clock. Right, so 
things grow slower, everything goes slower. Yeah, we. I may end up doing that. It really does come down to how much is there to do in a day that I want to do every day, you know? Um, that'll, oh, that'll determine what I do in that regard. Look at this. Okay. Oops. Oh. I'm used to Stardew where it's just like auto in the corner, but like you can very easily, it seems, go outside of this. This is just Stardew. It's got other uh, features to it, I believe, but very similar. I mean, again, like I said earlier, it's like every farming game you can compare straight back to Stardew. Or to Harvest Moon. Okay. So, I've gotten that. Now, I'm going to eat one of these. Consume the candied tree seed. Okay, gave me back some energy and some HP. I would love to find out how to make those. Maybe I'll learn. Is there a run? There is. There does seem to be a run. Oh, it's toggle. Good. Shift. Um, ooh, cute. <gasps> Can we get all these different kinds of animals? Little, like, quails and chickens with giant eyeballs and peacocks. And that rooster looks like he's going to hurt me. And that duck is cute. Awesome. I'm assuming this is a person who sells us animals at some point. Do-do-do-do. Okay. I have about a two-block reach, someone says. That's good to know. Okay, here's Tokyo, or what's his name? Toko? Choco. Um, where's the carpenter? Said northeast. I guess I have to see everything. All right, well, we'll go check out Joko, and maybe he'll... Oh, there it is, Carpenter. Cool. Right now, just cows and chickies? That, that makes sense. What's up, man? There are simple crafts that you can make yourself to improve your farm, like scarecrows, nor lampposts. Cool. Yeah, this game's gorgeous. I'm already super into it. All right, what is up? Can we upgrade for me? What can I do for you? Carpenter it. All right, coop level one, barn level one, stable, mill, silo. Okay, so then I'm assuming it, oh, keep hitting the wrong buttons. Shop? Oh, upgrade house, I saw it. Uh, how do we go back? Escape is back. I wish it would go back to the first part of the menu. Upgrade house. Um, oh, just cost wooden stone? Cool, there's no new styles open, but apparently you get different styles. Neat. Awesome, thank you. I'll, I'll work on it right away. Now, is this like, it is. So I think it's kind of like um, Stardew, she's going to go away, and then I won't be able to buy more from her. Or maybe I can, because maybe she sends Joko. Joko, honey, a slight change of plans. Brutal's here, and they've collected all the materials. Let's head over there and repair the house. Joko? There he is. Calendar's not implemented yet? Okay, good to know. Wow, that's awesome, Brutal. Let's do it. Now, does that mean... No days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or does that mean, like, no events? Dinda and Joko start repairing your house. How about it? Looks and feels more comfortable, right? Now, let's move your body to help me get your stuff inside, kiddo. Move my body? Oh, okay. Cute! Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is so cute! <sighs> well, we're just hanging out. Chit in the chat. No, oh, geez, careful. Don't break my new TV. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, the calendar you buy from the carpenter doesn't work. Got it. Whew, that old thing was really heavy. We're finished. What do you think, Brutzel? Looks brand new. Thank you. <laughs> Is it? I'd say we could do better. Look, no more moldy wood. We replaced all of it. We also built a new foundation for the house. That means it's strong enough for more furniture now. You can start decorating to make things comfier. Speaking of decoration... We have furniture store in town. But since there are fewer tourists, we don't stock many options anymore. No one's buying, you know? Check it out, though. You might see something you like. If you want, we can go there, right? All right, that's enough. You'll scare the kid. Oh, uh, sorry, Prutzel. I got too excited there. I mean, it wasn't that bonkers just telling me to go buy some things. We love that store. Even got some of my cousins helping out there. It's a family business for us. 
Feel free to visit when you have the time, Prutzel. It's in the middle of the town. It shouldn't be hard to find. Okay. Alright, that's all for... Honey, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm. Oh, yeah, the TV! Is there stuff I need to check every day? We threw in a free TV for you, Prutzel. Free of charge. Well, that's what free means. It's old and bulky, but it still works perfectly. Okay. I love the characters, they're so cute. It gets a good amount of channels, too. Like this weather. Huh? <laughs> well, sometimes you gotta smack at a good 60 degree angle, like this. The channels are very useful, like the weather report on the weather channel, so you can skip watering the crops on rainy days to go fishing or something. I don't know what you like to do, but you get the idea. There are a variety of shows, too. Love them. Some shows have useful tips if you pay close attention. I guess that's all for now. See you around, Prutzel. See you, Prutzel. Don't forget about the furniture store, right? <laughs> all right, let's read the weather. I mean, I already know the weather for today, I think. My house just got bigger! Watch TV. What do we got? How to be a farmer. How to be a farmer with Jeff Smith. My name is Jeff Smith, and I know a thing or two about farming. I was raised on a farm, so I got some tips for you. Sprouts. Let me tell you about them. I'm going to tell you the first thing. My pop told me when I planted my first corn in 19 Elixir, which is 19... LX? No idea. Unless that's 91. Um... Water your crops every day. That's it. You get that down. Chances are you'll be okay, Sprouts. 1961. Is that... Is L50? Is that what it is? I didn't know L was 50. I thought C. I guess C was 100. That's right. But you don't need to water when it's raining. You hear? Do, do, do. Weather forecast. Welcome to WBC, your main weather-related news source. The forecast covers Coral Island and the surrounding area. Tomorrow's gonna be rainy. All right, don't have to weather, uh, don't have to uh, water tomorrow. Animal Channel. Mook bang with mook. Mm, oh. Mm. Hello, fellow mooks. Welcome again to mook bang. Here, mook eat everything. All right, anyway, I'm not going to do that voice. Like high grade grass from Pokio and Tosaka. Moo. Moo, it's heavy. I need moo assistance. Today, mook will eat this grass from an island south of Pokio. Mooks say it was at least stuck in the world. Farmer cultivating it, gone. Mook will judge if it was a shame, or not disappear. Moonch, moonch, moonch. Moo. Mook tastes soil and freshness. Mook approves. Time to eat more. Moo! It's like Bob from Slime Rancher. Chickens? Moonch, moonch. Moo! Something is weird. Mook did not taste any green in this. What could it be, mooks? Out of season grass. Farmers. No growing, no growing something out of season. You destroy it, okay? Moo. Mook, do not want to eat again. Away! Moo! That was my favorite bowl. What a waste. Moo. This is the end for today. Next week, Mook review Pokio by with Paco Chicken. See you next week, Mooks. Hmm. The TV channel visuals are off. Yes, yeah, some of them were showing up and some were not. Um, is that a glitch on my end? Maybe? That's interesting. Maybe it's a UI thing that I, like, I my settings are one that's bugged. Okay. So. Do, 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 do. You. Just plant these for now. Okay. So. Oh, I need to open my journal to claim reward. Oh, because I finished that thing. All right. I, keep, I need to remember that it's C. Okay. You. Claim reward. Awesome. So I got some money. Visit the general store and harvest my first crop. Well, that's going to take a little bit of time. So, let's check the map. And let's go around and meet some people. Oh, wow. I'd like to go to the beach and see if I can learn how to farm. Maybe we'll head down here and then go further. So, we're going to head southish. Um, maybe it's be the fact that I just got the TV. Oh, could be that too. Could be that too. But yeah, we're just going to go around. Let's meet some peoples. And hopefully see, like, the extent of some stuff. Hello. What's the deal with you? Can I get, like, a bug net, maybe? Ah, okay, I'm guessing bug net. All right. Ooh, I love this little stone. The, the areas are gorgeous, all right? This whole zone, like, this whole place is gorgeous. Who are you? How lovely to see a new face around here. 
You can call me Betty, dear. Nice to meet you, Betty. You're the first visitor we've had in a while. After the oil spill last year, tourists hardly come anymore. <laughs> yes, Archer. <laughs> Hold on. All right, let me let me let him up here. Where you at, bud? Come over here. Come here. Come here. I'm gonna come up here. Ugh. He might want to, or he might just want food. Ugh. You gonna come hang out? Or are you? Nope. You want to you want to get out? What you think, bud? What you think? Hi. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Look at him. Look at him. He loves his belly rubs. He loves his belly rubs. All right, we're using the 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 uh, arrow keys right now. We're gonna try and do this with a cat. Hi. Hi. It's my little guy. It's my little guy. Hi, bud. Hi. Okay. Oh, I can harvest flowers and things. Oh, boy. It's a little bit trickier with the, uh, the arrow keys with my right hand. All right. There we go, bud. Just gonna snuggle up, huh? Hi. Okay, let's go check the inn. Can we? There we go. Just gonna snuggle in there? What's up? He's got his little paw on my arm. Hello. Alice, is that... Is that you, Prutzel? Wow, I almost didn't recognize you in that getup. Oh, so you're the one moving into the lot, huh? That would explain the outfit. All right, I understand. Everyone is hot. Um, right, it's not just the town, you know. The inn isn't as busy as it used to be. Hopefully, with you moving in, it's a sign of something good. Oh, little guy. Okay. Oh, he's in snuggle mode right now, y'all. I might have to pause. Oh. All right, I gotta pause real quick. All right, can I hit the I'm stuck under a cat button? Can I hit that? <laughs> Hi. It's a little bit of a cat stream right now, y'all. Let me, uh, gotta take a little break here. Um, can I do that real quick? Oh, goodness. Hi, bud. Hi. He wants to lick me now. Here is Cat. Here is Archer Cat Stream. He's just grooming me. <laughs> it's what he does. Island Ticket to Hotties is 24-ish USD on Steam. <laughs> it's also on Game Pass, if you've uh, got Game Pass. Yeah? All right. It's a little, it's a little much. Oh, you got me with your claw. What's up, bud? <laughs> Sometimes he just gets in, in super snuggle mode. Hi. Little goober. Little goober. I don't, I don't think my camera goes any lower. <laughs> you little goober. You little goober. You good? In my game now? You gonna snuggle in there? Oh. Okay. Let's see if this works. He'll he'll probably eventually get bored. Okay, we've got a cute little kitchen over here. I love the visual style here, y'all. It's so good. You like his little bell? Yeah. He'll wear it. Which is good. It's nice to be able to hear him coming down the hallway. Lana will always get away from hers. Oh, I shouldn't go in. Okay, so these are rooms. Okay. Okay, so does this one stop me? No. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, this is her room. Got it. So I need to know her or someone. This is someone's room. Better in order to go into their room. Do, 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 do. Oh, you still see my face. Sorry. Sorry. Here we go. Hold on. Hold on. Game. Sorry. Here we go. Uh, okay, so we're here inside this hotel. Um, or the inn, rather. So, y'all can't see all that weirdness, can you? Hold on. Okay, cool. Um, so, 
Uh, we got this cute little kitchen is what I was talking about. And I ran up here, and I this is, you know, learning the thing like Stardew. Um, I go in here, and I shouldn't go in. I don't know whose room this is. So I'm thinking that that is the whole, like, mechanic of Stardew, where you are... All right, here he goes. You going? No, you're just getting more comfortable? Oh, nope, there he goes. Okay. Um, now his boredom, he's like, okay, Price, you're not giving me what I want. Ugh. He's in the doorway now. <laughs> okay, you have to be invited in like a vampire. Exactly. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I am going to set the timer because it does seem like there's a lot to do in the day. Um, so game time speed. 50%. Uh, oop, cancel. E. Save changes. Okay. Because it does look like I'm going to want to do a lot each day. I can always go to sleep, right? Um, but I assume it also means that, like, farming and stuff takes longer. Or not farming. Um, fishing and things. Do, 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 do. Beach. Like, I don't move slower, do I? Because otherwise then it would be worthless. Diving. That's what I want to learn about. Because I want to go into the water and, like, meet the mermaids and stuff. Who's this? Hello. Have you checked out the diving yet? Nope, haven't. I'd like to. Doop -ba -doop -ba -doo. Later, resist. Have a good one. Oh, that's where I came in. That, <laughs> that boat. That boat is so good. All right, let's keep it going. Is anyone out at this hour, or maybe not? Well, let's let's at least harvest some stuff. Oh. Is my inventory full already? No. Okay, so it was just for some reason picking up the thing. All right, what about this? Aha, I thought that might be the case. Okay. Oh, I saw a person. The beach shack. It's closed. So I wonder if I can catch bugs just with my hands. You look like a bug. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. No. Unless... Huh. Okay, let's pick up some more stuff at least. I have a feeling... So tomorrow... What do we hit this with? You? No? You? Ah, okay. Um, so tomorrow in game then, we should try to come down here. I would really like to learn about the fishing and the diving. We've got water, or rain, rather, coming in. Ooh! Hello? My inventory's not full now, is it? It might be. Okay, so then let's get rid of this oak seed because I need to get that trash. Or, gosh darn it. Uh, see? Let us destroy... I don't know which one of these is worth more, so we'll destroy the one that's only one of them. I'm sure you could probably drop things. All right, we got a chest. New discovery, a coffer. Bring it to the blacksmith. Okay, so these are like geodes, essentially. Um, all right, I don't have any space in my inventory. I'm assuming that I need to buy a... Oh, there's, I bet you can play volleyball, huh? Um, I probably need to buy a backpack. They're easier to catch if you step on them first. Messed up. Messed up. All right, there's a townie over here. Again, I think it's probably too late to meet people, right? So, yeah. I'm walking through your yard! Okay, so we're gonna head home, I think. Um... And then, real fast, I'm going to go take a bathroom break, and I'm probably going to feed the cats here. Um, so, give me a sec. So, y'all let me know if I messed up anything with the audio and stuff. I usually feed the cats later, but um, with Archer bugging me and stuff, I was like, I'm just going to feed them now. And then hopefully they'll just, you know, chill. Um, what's with this? You need a special key. Okay. Okay, shake. Oh, kick. Hiya. All right. Let's go to bed. Well, actually, we've got a little bit of energy left. We got a little time. The cats achieved their goal. Yeah, it's true. Cat frequently comes over and taps your leg going food. Yep. Yep, mine does that. You saw him. Okay. Oop. When Archer does it, he'll put his claws in you, like into your shirt and stuff. Um, when Lana does it, she will, uh, she's so gentle. She's so flippin' gentle. It's adorable. 
Um, we're gonna leave the grass and stuff. I don't know what the... I don't know if I have space, is basically what it comes down to. Um, let's actually look... What's it gonna cost me to build this? 25 wood and 10 trash. So, I mean, we'll work towards that. Because I really want that chest. Alright, energy's almost up. Another one. Another coffer. Okay. Well, we're definitely gonna have to go see the, um... The blacksmith today. What's this? Is this like... Okay, go to bed. There's big pitcher plants to the left of the house? Okay, okay, we'll check that out. Oh, I should have put the, um... The shells in there. It's okay, we'll do it today. Alright, what you got for me? How to be a farmer. Um, with Jeff Smith. Uh, I know a thing or two about farming. Raising the farm, I'm gonna tell you the first thing. Water your crops every day, that's it. Don't need the water when it's raining. Yeah, I knew that one. Um, more rain tomorrow. Welcome to Coral Shopping. Skillet, a cast iron skillet. Oh. <laughs> so it's like a uh, QVC kind of thing. Big pitcher plants. Oh, these guys. Yeah, what is with those? Okay, let's get enough stuff to make the chest. Let's at least get that. So I think I'm just missing wood, right? Oh, and we have a letter. Oh. Doop, doop, bop, ba -dee, ba -doop, boop, bop, boop. We just got a letter. Okay, introducing the basic bag. There's a total of 20 compartments. That is a whole five extra compartments than basic tool belts. Carry more, do more, worry less. Available now for 500. Okay. Well, where's our uh, shipping bin? I will go ahead and put these in there. Everything else I assume is useful. Um, okay, let's just get some wood before I do anything else. Because I assume people are going to be sleeping and stuff for a couple hours. I do dig that we're on, that you can set it to slower. Smash. Oh. Okay. Uh, I dig that you can slow it down because I think everybody likes to play these games differently. And if you want to be able to both water your whole field and also um, talk to everybody and stuff, that was a big issue, I think, is a big issue in Stardew, personally. They don't give you enough time to do everything and insist that you do, or at least that's like kind of what the goal is. I've always felt the same way about Harvest Moon. Like, I always want to make sure, priority-wise, that I take care of my farm. So then what ends up happening is I never take care of anything else. You... Oh, inventory's full. You just drop them. So there's no way to drop stuff, huh? Or is there, and I'm just not doing it right. Makeshift chest, put that there. How do I... Tab? How do I switch bars? Because there's got to be a way. Does anyone know? How do you switch bars? Um, Q? Q and something? Say Q and E? No. R, T, no, put it in the first row, well, I mean, I know I can put it in the first row, but, um, like, in Stardew, you can swap between them, like, it's multiple rows, I'm basically saying, like, is there a way to do that, because otherwise, you know, it's, I can put it in the first row, but it's inconvenient, um, it's Q and R to switch, try setting two, cancel, E apply, Nope. 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 Um. <laughs> well, it's supposed to. It's supposed to. Looks like I'm running into some issues. Well, I assume that when people say, like, that they know how to do it, that they've done it before, is my guess. Unless you just can't. 
Unless you just can't, which is unfortunate. Because maybe you need an upgrade? Maybe. I think it's a little unfortunate. Because, you know. Um, let's put this over here. Can I press the number keys? Yeah, I can do that. I mean, my keyboard is off. It says one through zero and plus minus. No, that's how you scroll. I'm saying, how do you switch? <laughs> Maybe it's unlockable. Yeah, it's, it's not working. It's not working. Q and E should be the ones doing it. Unquestionably. That's what it say. it's saying. Um, so, so yeah. That's that. Um, do, 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 do. Okay. Um, well, what do we got up here? The ranch. Cavern. Ben's caravan. House. House. Don't know. Mayor's house. Lake temple? Wow. Salon. Lab. Townies. Fish and chips. <laughs> Charles's house, Sam's general store. I should probably go check out the, gener the general store. We got the beach shack, the coral inn. Right, so I think I'll go to the beach shack because I do want to see if we can't start fishing. Oh, the greenhouse will be built over here. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, let's head over to... Oh, and there's like the museum and stuff too. Okay. Well, there's the general store. Don't forget to go to the blacksmith for chess. Good call. Good call. I can bring those with me. Hopefully I have the money for it. And where is the blacksmith? I'm assuming by the town. Um. Hmm. I'm just looking for like a something. Abandoned villa. Hmm. What around here looks like a blacksmith? Does anyone know where the blacksmith lives? Hmm. <laughs> there he is. Okay. Up there. Uh, okay, so I will head over towards the general store. Should be open by the time I get there, I think, or close to. I would love to get a fishing rod. Would love to get a fishing rod. Y'all know me. Did I ever finish Undertale? I think so. If not, I think I did. I mean, I remember what the last boss fight is. Um, but it's probably not on YouTube anywhere. Because um, I might have finished it after something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, to be honest. But I, I know the... Uh, I know the entirety of the game. I'll be honest. I didn't love Undertale. Just from like a game pay, game, uh, gameplay standpoint. I think the... Um, there's interesting stuff lore-wise and with the characters and stuff, but ultimately I didn't love it. Okay, so calendar-wise, the fourth is his birthday. It's spring year one. It is the second. Okay, in two days, it is Joko's birthday. Do, 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 do. You were loving the gameplay? Yeah, I just... Not my thing. Um, you wonder if they'll have your farm look IRL on the map instead of having a huge Blake space? Maybe. We'll see. All right, where's the, the shack? The general store is probably where I'm going to get the fishing pole, or I'm going to get it from some random person. Eleanor. Now, I was telling the mayor that I didn't think anyone would want to visit the island until we get rid of those tar at the beach, but you proved me wrong. Welcome to the community. Hello, Eleanor. Yeah, you're right. The island isn't like what it used to be. It is what it is. I wouldn't say that. Gimme. Gimme. Okay. Just picking up stuff. Ha! 
Like, how far out into the water can I go? Oh! Little island, huh? Okay, we got some sand and stuff. There's this evil goo. Okay, so that's the tar, I'm guessing. Okay. Interesting. Do, 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 do. What is this game? This is Coral Island. It's a very, um, Stardew slash... Huh. Huh. All right. I love that. Like, look at the rain effects. Look at that. That's actually really good for a game like this. Like, I feel like usually these games, like, they keep it a little simpler. Okay, we're almost nine. Let's go check out the shack. See if it's open. It says closed. Gone fishing. Oh, who are you? Hello. Ava. Oh, nice to meet you, too. My name's Everest. Oh, that's cute. Ava, for short. We don't see too many new faces, so your arrival is great for the town. Cool. Beach Shack, what's up? Shop. Sorry, we're currently closed. Who works here? Who, who lives here? You, come on out. We're not friends enough. Oh, and there's a kid in there, too. Who are you? All right. They've got fishing rods and stuff, so I'm hoping that I can buy fishing rods here eventually. So we will come back down here in a little bit. Because it's open, but clearly they're not doing anything with it. Is that a forageable? No. No, I think that's a baby palm tree, maybe. Okay, back up to the general store. No, that's not the general store. That's someone's house, right? Oh, I like that once you've met them, you see them on the map. That's great. That's so great. That's a feature in, you know, that's a mod in Stardew, but not, uh, not by default. Coming on over this way, Ava? Hey, look at this. Hey, Prutzel. I knew you'd eventually make your way here. Now, I wanted to personally introduce you to the owner of this store. This is Sam. He's been running this establishment for a while now. Hello, Prutzel. It's a pleasure to meet you. Welcome to the general store. You'll find most of your farming needs here. Most of the seeds I sell are seasonal, though. It would do you good to keep this in mind. If you need help, just holler. I'll be by the cash register. Well, isn't that nice, Sam? You might finally put a dent in that seed stock of yours. <clears throat> anyway, before you get going, Prutzel, your moving in was quite unexpected. Now, I'm sure a lot of people are anxious, well, more like curious to see who the new farmer is. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to folks in town? Oh, I have been. Oh, I have been. Sam was not amused. Sam did not like that. What up, Everest? Oh, who's the cool person over here? Oh, Lily. Um, yes? I think we the smell of fresh bread. I haven't seen you around here before. Are you new? She seems like a cool, cool gamer girl slash hacker. All right. What can I do for you? All right, upgrading the bag costs 500, right? Daisy seeds grows in four days, four days, five days, seven days. Yields regular quality. Okay, so cauliflower seeds, eight days. Those are going to be the big money ones. Let's start with some potatoes. Ten. Eh, why not? Spend all our money, right? That's a smart idea when I wanted to buy a fishing rod. Um, oh, look at that! She makes the bread. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. Do, 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 do. Oh, holding the seeds. Okay, well, before we go and do that, there's another person in there that I haven't met. Can I meet them? They might be uh, behind a door, right? Like, can I even go back here? I can. Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, the new neighbor. So someone really was moving into town, huh? I couldn't believe it until I saw you myself. She's got like some little... Oh, she's the barber, I think. I don't often go to the part of the island where your farm is. It was overgrown the last time I visited. What a disaster. How is it so far? Do, 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 do. Ground spots are useful? What? 
I don't know what that means. Um, okay. Three people over here. Let's see if we can't meet some people over here. Ba -boo -ba. I love this game. This is great. This is great. Oh, look at this. The Hog, 19X7, so 1917. Partial gift of Olivia Barnes. It's so weird how they mix uh, Roman numerals and everything else. Oh, hey, I have to say, you're not what I expected. Everybody's hot, y'all. Everybody's hot. Oh, no, I didn't mean it in a bad way. I heard from the twins who run the inn that a new farmer moved in. I just thought, you know, never mind. Oh, he's a little awkward. Well, Demetrius situation going on. Super awkward guy. Is he sciency? I'm curious. Um, who's this? That's older lady. Lily? Is that what her name is? What's the hottie count? Eight? Ten? I don't know. Everybody is hot. Everybody's hot. This is why you and Anna are friends. Can't help it. Cannot help it. Thirst Trap Island. Oh, man. Okay, what else we got? Wait, there's someone else in there. Yeah, no spoilers. Um, please. I did. Where's the other person? Where did I not see them? Like, they're probably in a room, but I didn't see them in a room. Okay, that's Betty's room. I don't know whose room this is, so they must be in there. Maybe it's a child. I cannot see. And they're not in there. Okay, well, we're moving on. We're moving on. I just want to meet everybody, you know? Okay. The clinic we go to. All right, there's, there's people around. We're just going to meet people. Because we'll plant stuff right before we go to bed. Like, it shouldn't matter, should it? Oh, hey! Maybe you can teach me how to fish. Everyone's hot. A new farmer in town. You moved here after the oil spill? Huh. I'm Zara. See you around. Okay. Met Zara. Oh, that's it. One talk. One speaky. Is there anyone on the boat? No. Okay. You want to live in this modern, Asian-inspired town? It's pretty neat. It's a pretty neat spot. All right, here's the salon. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello, more people. Hey, you. Is this our new neighbor? Going around town, huh? Have you been to the tavern yet? Frank is there all the time. Have you two met? Everyone's hot, y'all. Um, who's Frank? Okay, probably this one. Oh, that's one complicated way of answering. Anyway, he's super friendly. I don't think I've met Frank, have I? Hello to you, too. I'm Macy. Oh, she's a photographer. Where are you visiting from? It's nice to finally have a tourist in town. You know what I would love? I would love um, pronouns up in here. Oh, you just moved to Coral Island? That's amazing. Welcome and confusing. Why? <laughs> well, I hope you're getting around all right. Coral Island's kind of big, so getting your bearings can be pretty hard at first. They're both... Hot. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and say this. My apologies for sexualizing all of the characters in this game, essentially. They're fully fleshed out individuals. They're also hot. Um, salon. Oh, I didn't meet anyone at the clinic. I meant to go in there. You love the diversity for sure. Pronouns would be great for sure. Uh, yeah, I love, I love both. Charles. Well, hello to you. Um, let's... Ugh, Sprig. Not the best time to move here. Uh, by the way, I'm Ch... <laughs> Good to meet you, Chuchu. Um... Giant stuffed chicken. Adorable. Uh, adorable. Is Shime they then? How do you find out? How do you find out? Does it say maybe some are people? Outfit, expressions, she, I mean, it says she, her, he, he, her, I'm just reading, I'm looking for in the text for pronouns, she, she, no pronouns here, 
So Ava could be with a lot. Hmm. Good friends with a lot of them. Yeah, so no pronouns for Ava, so we don't know. Joko. No, don't know. She. She. Her. He. He. She. All right. So there's only two that we don't know their pronouns for. Um, again, would be nice to just have it. Like, even in that, if you looked at there, if it just said, like, they, them, he, her, um, or he, he, him, she, her, Zezer, whichever, you know, I think it would be nice for them to just have all the, uh, options there. But, yeah. All right. Ling's lab. Let's go meet Ling. Or whoever else is working there. Didn't I meet Ling? I thought I met Ling. So it might be someone else who works there. Socket and pan furniture. Ooh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Can I get automation, sir? Oh, wow. My goodness. Oh, you're Prutzel. I've heard about you from my uncle Joko, the carpenter. Tall? Mustache? No? Yeah. Everyone's hot. Actually, I also just moved here last winter for work. Oh, cool. Look at all the science about water stuff. And then there's this little robot guy. I saw him in the thing. Wow, that's neat. Ooh. This is like a... I can't tell if it's like an altar or if it's like some attempt to do some kind of bonkers occult science. Um... Yeah, Magsy, don't worry about it. Don't tell me. You know, I'll mess up, but that's okay. I'm okay fumbling through at the beginning. Wow, a lot of people at the community center. Let's go knock a whole bunch of people off the list. And what's this guy's name again? Alright, well, we'll see when we get in there. It's gonna take me a while to learn all the names. Aliens. Indeed. Oh, hello. Who are you? Probably hot? That was overwhelming hotness. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Um, Raj, I want to give him the uh, the voice. What, what's his name? Leodragar from uh, from Hero Squad. Like, hello. I mean, I know, and I'll just go ahead and say this. I know that this doesn't match um, necessarily, but that's a great voice for a character this hot. And this is exactly what Leo Dragar looks like. If someone watches our D&D &D or listens to our D&D &D series and knows of the character of Leo Dragar, this guy right here. Yeah. Okay. Hello. I don't think I've seen you before. Are you new in town? Oof. Looking respectfully. See you around. Woo! Oh, hey, who are you? Whoa, look who's finally here. <laughs> ah, that's Frank. The new farmer, right? I'm Frank. What's up, man? Folks at the tavern have been talking about you. You should stop by sometime. Everyone's hot. Everyone's hot. Live in Coral Island because everyone's hot. All right, who's this? Oh, muscle dude, I think. Theo. Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard about you. You're that new farmer from San Francisco, right? <laughs> San Francisco! <laughs> Bokio, San Francisco, you know yo. Oh, that's right. Pokio. I'm Theo. Me? I'm from here. I fish for a living. Theo, help me out, bro. All right, what's your name again? Oh, I can't check. A batik hanging. Batik? Batik. Um... People, people, what is your name? I just want to get used to it. I want to get used to it. Noah. His name's Noah. Um, have we played or considered playing Call of Cthulhu for spooky season? We won't be playing anything for this spooky season, anything special. I mean, that's not a bad idea. You know, I might pitch. Maybe we do skeletons or something this week. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Who are you? Millie. Yes, Brutzel? Everyone's hot. I've been meaning to meet you. My name is Millie. It's so exciting to have people moving in. Nice to meet you, Millie. And you are Jim. You're the new farmer. I see. No offense, but you look like you've never held a tool in your life. All right, speaking of tools. 
I don't know why Connor let anyone move, lets anyone move in. Our community is great just as is. All right, you know, almost everyone's hot because that personality just makes that unbearable. You can't unsee the Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, especially like Millie and um, what's her name? The other one who's who like is basically like Robin. Have you met everyone? Working on it, Millie. Yeah, very Lilo and Stitch vibes there. You had a similar reaction when you first saw Raj. I mean, how could you not? Look at that. I on it. Okay, IRL. I love these kinds of things. I absolutely love these little recreations of places. Um, it's probably also why I love Ant Man and stuff. All right, there's two people I haven't met who are in here allegedly. Aha, uh -huh, you. Whom's are you? Judge Ross. Hello, Judge Ross. Hmm. Hmm. Mysterious. And hot. Okay. Oh, pink hair. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to be like, it's Chrissy. But no, it's Edda. <laughs> you said you were a farmer, right? <laughs> that explains the outfit. How cute. Out of all the places you could go, why on earth would you move here? It's Anna. Anna, Anna couldn't just let you like, no price. You got to do better. Um, okay. Looks like there's one person who just doesn't have an image. Uh, okay, we got the museum. Ling's lab. There's someone over there, but I haven't met them, but I think there's reasons. The salon. A couple people at the tavern. Oh, well, right, because the tavern's probably now open-ish. Um, the beach shack is closed. We got a stranger over there. One over there. I mean, it's like, there's a lot of people to meet. There's a lot of people to meet. All right, there's like seven up this way. So let's head up that way. Pink haired Haley. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. There's always got to be a, a sassy stuck up person who turns out they actually have a complex backstory full of trauma that keeps them at a distance. I wouldn't know anything about that. I wouldn't know nothing about trauma responses. Do, do, do. Haley is your sweet, perfect little angel and you will hear no slander. The slander shall come. The slander is warranted. Oh yeah, the blacksmith. I do not have money to pop these things. <laughs> That's my wife you're talking about. <laughs> uh, what's up, man? Pablo, hello. You must be Prutzel, right? Damn, I wasn't expecting you to look like this. Oh, hello, Pablo. You're surprisingly cute. Oh, two can play that game. Well, it's nice to finally meet you. Name's Pablo. I don't know jack about farming, but hey. If you need help with tools, come by my shop just north of town, and I'll see what I can do. Ciao. All right. Well, you're, I'm right here, so process geodes? Can you? For 20. Okay. Well, we'll get some money tomorrow. We'll do that. Oh, big strong guy. Raphael. Oh, uh, hi there. Oh, you're shy? Uh, my name is Raphael. Um, I'm one of the blacksmiths here in Starlet Town. Nice to meet you, Raphael. You're a shy guy, huh? That's okay. I get it. Do, 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 do. Oh, wrong way out? There's a door this way, too, huh? No? Okay. Kitchen. Okay, heading this way. Boom, up this way. All right, let's meet all these people. So tomorrow, if I can, I would like to buy a fishing rod. And I would like to... Um, what else would I like to do? Backpack if we can, fishing rod if we can coffers if we can. Archie, are you really the new person? Dad said you were a farmer. Is that right? What kind of farming tools do you have? Okay, I believe you. Why don't you look like a farmer though? Because I'm hot. My uncle Surya is new too, just like you. Cute. Just just coming on into like a kindergarten meeting children. My name? Hmm. My name's Oliver. Why? Um, yeah, this is a normal day on the island, I guess. Except now you're here. So now it's weird. Hello, Mr. Prutzel. Nice to meet you. I'm Valentina. Um, yeah, it's really fun here. 
We gotta fly kites and build snowmen in winter. Cute. You're the new farmer who owns that lot. I used to play there with my friends. You can if you want. Can, can me and my friends still go to your farm and play in the mud? Sure, go for it. I don't care. Be creative. I love that. That is exactly what you should have in here. Okay. My name's Randy. I'm an elementary school teacher. What did you say your name is? Ah, uh, yes, Prutzel. It's nice to meet you. All right. I love the uh, representation there. Okay. This game, it's got a lot. Did I just say I'm hot to a child? <laughs> I didn't tell them that they should think I'm hot. It's just, you know, it's a fact. I'm hot. Um, do, do, do. Two over there. One over there. Okay, we're going to meet a lot of them. Not everyone, though. Any out this way? One way out there. Oh, a couple way out here. Okay, okay. Well, that way. Boop, ba da, boop. Yeah, Nightbot, thank you for putting that out there. Y'all, we have uh, some merch out on our store. It's not going to be open for much longer. It's not going to be open for much longer. So if you've been looking at our shirts or anything, the pins maybe, um, pick them up. Pick them up now because the store is going to be closed, I think, in like a week. Um, so yeah, give it a go. Oh, hello! You guys are explorers, huh? Good day, stranger! Oh, you just moved on to the farm. Welcome to the community! My name is Anne. Everyone's hot. A quick word of advice from your new neighbor. Be patient, since last year those darn crops aren't growing like they used to. Okay. You're gonna be a farmer, huh? What brings you out here, then? Oh, by the way, you can call me Paul. Good to meet you, Paul. The docuseries Friends with Wildlife? Yeah! My wife and I made that. I can't believe you know about it. Cool, cool. Very cool. Alright! I dig it. Who are you? Probably hot? Yep. So the rumors are true after all. Welcome to town. We got a new scientist in town last month, too. Can't remember his name, though. Anyway, I hope you like it here. It's uh, Saraya? Saria? Surya, that's right. Sure, sure, it's nice to meet you, too. My name's Emma. Nice to meet you. Okay. Back towards home. Oh, the ranch is closed, right? We can head up there, maybe. Doing my best to meet everybody, y'all. Everyone 18 plus is hot if you have enough confidence. It's true. It's true. That's true. Confidence is the hotness. I was watching a thing the other day. It was some, you know, silly video commentary video or whatever, but the guy I watch, you know, he always ends everything with like a positive spin, like a, a message you can take away from it. And one of the things he was saying is like, I know it's really hard. I know that you'd be really self-conscious and everything like that. But honestly, the thing that's going to get you into a relationship, the thing that's going to make people want to hang out with you is confidence. Um... But more just like being yourself and not thinking so much about other people in terms of what they want you to be or what you think they want you to be to be with them kind of thing. Um, that's, that's, you know, what's going to work because then you just treat people like people. You're like, I'm a person who's like this. You're a person who's like that. And then that's how it works. That's how it works. Trying to pretend to be someone else to like get in a relationship or whatever like that will never, ever work. Ever. Because eventually, you're going to act like yourself. Just eventually you will. And that, if you tried, if you split that too far, if you pretend too much to be someone else, recipe for disaster. Is that you, Taro? Oh. I haven't seen you before. Are you new here? Nope. Hey, 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 hey. The hotness is overwhelming. I have to like block it out. Can't see. Too hot. The sun is in my eyes. Prutzel. Did I say it right? I'm Waku. It's a pleasure to meet you. Dad told me about you. He was the one that took you here on that chicken boat. Yep, the one with the hat. Woo! Woo! Did I hear a Pokian accent? Oh, you are? Where in Pokey are you from? Next to the thingy, er, the busy part. <laughs> I see, the busy part. The one with lots of cars and tall buildings, I bet. 
<laughs> yeah, the busy part. You're so hot, I can't form a sentence. Uh, okay. How much more? Two over that way. You refuse to make yourself fit other people because you've done that and it sucks. Yeah, exactly. Like, it just, it's never gonna work. It's never gonna work, y'all. The sass? Yeah. Look, he can get away with it. The steaminess. Boop, bop, boody, boodoo, boop, bee, bee, da, bop, bop, ba, doop, boop, boop. Oh, gotta go around the fence. Bugs! I do wanna get a bug net, please. Harvest. Canola. Cool. Can I plant canola? Aha! Okay, okay. Got it. I can do stuff with those. Like, before I was like, is this like a little sapling? But it looks different. So those are like the little wormy things from uh, Stardew. Okay, there are allegedly two people here. I hear the clanking of swords from inside. You wonder if there's some fighting going on. Does this game have fighting? Or do I just send them stuff for them to fight for me? All right, let's go to the ranch, see if it's open. To the mines! Indeed. They call it a mine. Wasabi! Wild wasabi, neat. That's the real kind of wasabi. The wormy things were twigs, according to the developer. They were worms. And I will, I will hear none of it. They come out when it's raining and they, they squiggle. There is fighting? Uh-oh. Whoa, Vine oh yeah, I haven't met you yet, huh? Whoa! That is a mountain of a man. Make, make you feel all small. Protected and delicate. All right, what you got? Hay and milk pails, okay. So this is, this is the ranch, obviously. Just call me Jack. I run the local ranch. Your lot has plenty of space to raise livestock. Once you're settled, maybe we can discuss raising animals. Having another rancher could be a good for the local economy. We might be able to produce local cheese again. Ooh, he likes cheese. Animals. Oh! <laughs> uh, adorable. Look at that horse. I love the art is very Pixar-y in a way, right? Like I could see that horse being a jokester in some kind of movie. That or Shrekky. Um, okay. Two people here. Okay, who else is here? Boom, 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 boom. Um, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't see nobody. Love you some good local cheese? Heck yeah. Oh, they must have just left, whoever that was. Okay. There are a few more question marks throughout, but how are we doing on that quest? We have met... Oh, I need to give them gifts. Have I already met enough people? Okay. Okay. Well, we'll give out some gifts at some point. I need to get some stuff to give out for gifts. Um, is this, hold on. All right, that does head down to my farm. The horse looks like the horse from Tangled. That's what I was thinking. Thank you. I knew it looked exactly like a horse from something. Oh, this is the ranch, right? My home is further down. Okay, okay. I've never seen Tangled, but as with all Pixar movies, I've seen enough stuff throughout uh, pop culture to know about that horse. Okay, we're putting down 16 potatoes, so we're going to do a 4x4 four four grid. Oh yeah, I need to do this a little bit more. We actually have a lot more range, y'all were telling me. Doot. That's nice. Okay. Beep, boop, bop, boop. So I can, like, stand in the middle probably and get them all. Nice! Okay. So, let's think now. Um, it's too late, probably, for me to... 
um, do anything inside of a shop, but I don't have any money. So the question is, do I clear my farm or do I go, you know what? No, let's go foraging on the beach first. See if I can get a little bit extra money. Let's see. Wasn't that one cream colored though? Oh, the vibe is the same, not the same color. Um, you exit in the world of, you exist in the world of social media, so you don't need to see something to know what something looks familiar to the asylum. Exactly. People meme it enough that you see it. Um, especially because it's Disney. Do you like, oh, I'm going to give you some of this. Here we go. Candy tree seed. Aw, you're so sweet. Thanks. You're hot. <laughs> How are we doing on our inventory? Nope. You. Got two more slots. Okay. Made into cooking oil, wasabi, consumable. Okay. Someone said crab. Oh, crab! I can't catch him, though. Hello. Would you like one of these as well? Yes. Thank you so much! I love the name Everest. I think that's real pretty. That's a real pretty name. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's chop down some of these palm trees. Oh, shake. Oh, you can't. You can only shake. Okay. So they're going to drop me some uh, coconuts and stuff, maybe? Okay. Just looking around for stuff. A random bucket. Okay. Lifeguard. <laughs> There's a lot of trash. Which, I mean, you know, I know I should probably just be cleaning up, so I guess let's let's get some. Oh, there's a lot of crabs over here. Can I catch? Gimme, 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 gimme. hi -ya! <laughs> Nope. Uh, okay, that's fine. Can I pick up this guy? No. Oh, some of it you pick up and some of it you break. Wait, is that one I can pick up? All right, well, we will look in the water. Um, Eva's the early favorite. It's too, it's too soon for me to tell. It's too soon for me to tell. A lot of hotties in this one. Risa Kuma, something with them 21 months. Thank you so much. Drop them bears, everybody. That was a Prime sub. Don't forget, y'all, if you got Amazon Prime, that means you've probably got a uh, Prime sub that you can use here. You know, even if you don't use it for us, use it for one of your favorite streamers. It's incredibly helpful, and it costs you nothing. You're already paying for it. Okay. Boop. Yeah, we're just going to clear up all this. All this. I wonder what the ecological storyline of this game is going to be with the tar on the beach. Well, I know from, I mean, especially, you can see it on the title screen, and I'm pretty sure I've seen it in the, um trailers and stuff isn't there some kind of like like scuba diving or snorkeling mechanic where you actually go out into the water and you're like cleaning stuff up for like um you know uh, for like mermaids and stuff i think just seeing we're learning but I'm really excited for that because honestly, I love ecologically focused games because I think, you know, obviously we live in a time where more and more and more and more it's becoming important to um, be conscientious of the environment uh, and, and what we can do to try and stave off the effects of climate change because um, they're getting worse and worse every year. For example, it was 80 here in Oregon, in Portland for the past up until mid-October. That ain't normal. That ain't normal. We live in the Pacific Northwest. It's supposed to be cold in September. Uh, okay. Oh, a couple more at the inn. Might be late, though. It's like saving the coral reefs around the ocean. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Is it Krizzy? Suki. Oh, hey. It's nice to see you again. Well, have I met you? It'd be nice to have more farmers here. Being able to get local produce would be a game changer. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, it's me? It says, like, what does this mean? Is that just someone who doesn't have a portrait yet, maybe? Wait, do the twins ever use the sewing machine? Twins? Twins. 
I don't think I've met you. You a child? Oh no, I have met that child. I met all of the children at kindergarten. All right, gotta get people gifts. Maybe the stuff that we get out of this will be some good gifts. Um, okay, let's head back home. I'm gonna throw these shells and things in. We're gonna hold on to the trash because we know trash is a useful material. Um, and I, I doubt it actually sells for much. Um, ooh, what is this little thing? Oh, wow. Okay, it's got some unique script. Do not understand what it says. What language does that look like? Is that like Hindi? I'm trying to understand. Or like Thai? I don't know like these characters, but they look kind of like that because of like the line that goes across the top. But I, you know, obviously I'm sure it's probably a, uh, a, um, unique one, obviously. Like, I think it's a made up language, but like it emulates an existing language. Sanskrit? Is that what I'm thinking of? Sanskrit? The ancient language? Uh, who was that? Cagli! Hi! I miss you. How are you? I am playing this game. We have determined that every single character in this game is hot. How are you? Ancient language. <laughs> oh, man. Hopefully we're in the time where finally we can go back to cons and I can see you again sometime soon. Do, do, do. Oof, okay, energy low. Ooh, wow, look at that. Oh, no, I cannot make it home. Eh, nope. Oh no! It is too blocked. I'm gonna have to run around super slow though. <sighs> I didn't know they were gonna fully block me out. <laughs> Should have known. Stardew style. What time is it? It's two. I mean, I'm having fun playing this. I had said earlier I might switch to Astroneer halfway through. Um, can I eat anything? I gave away all my food. <laughs> I gave away all my food as gifts. Uh, so, yeah, what do y'all think? I'm assuming y'all would rather watch more of this, huh? Let me know if people want me to switch over to Astroneer. Let it be known. But, um,. This game's neat. Follow my heart. I will follow my nose. Wild seeds. Actually, I should plant those. Well, no, I can't plant anything today. I am already, uh, my energy's a little low. All right, we'll sell these. Ooh, is this like a high quality or something with the star? Coral Island, more of that. Whoop. All right, let's sleep. Tickles my fancy.